In this first experiment, we're going to be looking at the effect of surface area and volume on the rate of diffusion in some blocks of pink agar jelly. Now they're coloured because they contain an alkali and an indicator called phenolphthalein, um, and when we put them in the acid, they are going to change colour. Um, now Dr. Ackroyd has started with a block that was 10 by 10 by 10 millimetres, and he's repeatedly cutting it in half to produce a block that is 10 by 10 by 5, and then 5 by 5 by 10, and he's just about to cut that one in half in order to produce a block which is 5 by 5 by 5, which is this new little cube-shaped block. And then finally, he's going to take one of those little cubes and cut that in half to form a final smallest block that's 5 by 5 by just 2.5 millimetres. Now the blocks are all going to go into this shallow petri dish, uh, carefully spaced out so that they're not uh, touching one another. And then into the dish goes a solution of dilute hydrochloric acid. At the same time, Dr. Ackroyd is starting the clock. We need just a little bit more acid just to make sure that biggest block is completely covered. And then we're going to watch what happens. Now, as they sit in the acid, the acid is in higher concentration outside the block than it is inside the block. So it diffuses in towards the center. And as it diffuses in, it changes the color of the indicator. And you can see that the blocks are turning colorless from the outside in towards the center. In order to gather the data for the experiment, what we want to do is to record the time it takes for each of these separate blocks to completely lose its color.